Hi, thanks for joining me today. Would you like to know three strategies for solving every problem inside a step family? Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and I'll let you know every time I post. There are three ways to think when you're needing to solve a problem in a step family. Yes, any problem in a step family. These are three useful ways to think about things and think things through and solve your problem to any problem. Step families are problematic. There are lots of different perspectives. There's lots of different people with different agendas. There's lots of behaviours that are sometimes not really explainable. You're dealing with a lot of stuff and this isn't apparent before you get into the step family. Not only that, your partner is key in having different perspectives and different pressures and influences put on them. So it's quite often that you feel quite isolated in the step family, that you don't have your partner's backing, that this problem is unsolvable, but that you, you're left alone to deal with it. So what are the three methods of thinking about problems in step families that can help you? Well, the first is to step back from the problem. Sometimes it can help to sort of remove yourself from the problem itself and pretend you're a fly on the wall looking down at what's going on. Distance yourself, pull away and look at it from a sort of non-involved, objective distance and see how and what is playing out. And then you'll be better able to see what needs to happen to solve the problem. The more you remain involved, speaking from your perspective, trying to get your point across, the less you'll succeed. The more you'll succeed if you pull back and don't try and solve the problem immediately, but say to yourself, what would it take? What has to happen for this to no longer be a problem for me? Ask yourself that question and let time pass while you think about it. No problem needs to, unless it's urgent, urgent, has to be solved there and then. You're much better off taking a step back, looking at it from a distance, deciding strategically how this problem could be solved and then you can work towards the solution. And the point on working towards a solution is that once you've worked out what you think a good strategic solution might be to this problem, it's surprising how opportunities present themselves quite quickly as life happens. And if you know what your long-term strategic aim is with this problem, it's surprising how often opportunities present themselves and you can go, yep, yeah, well, let's delay, delay this for a week or let's only do this once every month or let's organise it differently so we don't have to do this, but somebody else will. I don't know, but it's surprising once you know what your long-term objective is, how easily you can get opportunities that come along that help you steer towards that long-term objective. And the second point is, in step families, often if you're the step parent trying to get 
to change, trying to make improvements or do something differently, how much resistance there is just because you're the step parent. Not for any other reason. They don't want to change because you're the step parent. So never lose the opportunity to use external influences to get the changes that you want. And so here again, you need to think about it a little bit in advance so you know when these opportunities present themselves that it's what you want. But often if you're having trouble pushing things through, stop, stop. You're just going to meet resistance and wait for somebody else to suggest it and then support them. Or it'll be more convenient or just as good to do something this way as that. And then push for the that instead of the this. You know, use what happens externally to the family to help you make the changes you want and don't try and push for changes because I want them. I, the step parent. <laughs> and thirdly, is to work out, have a family map and work out who you can use that, are, that is basically supportive of you and who you can use that or who you are or become, become aware of that is not supportive of you. And be aware of these people inside your extended family. And in that, I would include close friends of the family and neighbours and the community generally. What are your helps and what are your hindrances? Because often you can negotiate to have the support of your supporters more and more frequently and get them around more, surround yourself with them than have the antagonists always interfering in your life. So those are the three tips for solving any problem inside a step family and they really work. And it's a fundamental way you can change your destiny. <laughs> we run workshops. We're working on an online course at the moment. And we run sessions, which you can access from our website. And we write booklets, which you can also purchase on our website. Look in the description box below for links to the website and other media.